Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something that I have been wanting to make for so long because so many of you have requested this. I pretty much get asked this question in literally every video, and that is how to make an artist website or how to make an online shop to help sell your prints and originals. So I'm so grateful that Wix.com reached out and decided to collaborate with me on this project. For those of you who don't know, Wix.com is a free online website builder. So it's actually zero cost to sign up, build your website, use their web editing tools, and launch your website. And today I'm just gonna be showing you guys just how easy and simple and intuitive it is to use. You don't need any prior um, website building experience or coding experience. You can be a complete novice at this and still make a professional looking, sleek, mobile friendly website. And um, just to keep things really authentic, I decided to film the footage of myself using the website for the very first time. So. The voiceover and the tutorial portion I recorded later, but all the video footage you see of me clicking around on the screen and playing with the different features, that is also my very first time using Wix.com and I ended up being able to produce a complete website with like a homepage, a portfolio, um, an online shop with like different products and things like that. I did all of those in around 15 minutes. It was so easy and I cannot wait to share this tutorial with you guys. So I hope you find it useful. Okay, let's get started. First things first, I'm just gonna press the start now button. Um, the entire flow is pretty intuitive. I'm gonna sign up for a new account, enter my email address and set up all that information here. And it's going to ask you a series of initial questions to help you get started with your website. So I'm gonna pick online store because I think that's a really important part um, of a website for an artist. And there's two options. You can either use the Wix ADI, which is a little bit more simple, or the Wix editor, which I think is a little bit more advanced. So for today's tutorial, we're just gonna use the Wix ADI. And much like before, you're just going to fill in some initial information. Um, it's going to ask me what kind of online store I want to create. Um, I couldn't find anything for art, so I just put artist, which luckily came up with the results. And then we wait and it says, does your website need any of the following features? And I feel like just get subscribers. Um, we can all edit this information later, but for now, I think that's a good option to have. And. Now it's asking what the name of our website or business is. Um, I'm just gonna put in Happy D Artist Site. Actually, uh, Happy D Artist Portfolio and Store. Um, and again, you can change any of this information later, so it doesn't really matter what you put here. And if you don't have an address, that's totally fine. You don't need a physical address. Um, if you have a PO box, maybe to put it there. And again, just filling out some preliminary information. A great thing about Wix is you can add a social media network and you'll see what it can do later, but it basically ties in and integrates all of your social media networks that you fill in here um, very elegantly into the design of your website. So after I added all the links I want, I'm just gonna click next and we now begin the wizard that kind of help, uh, helps us get started with our page. I'm just going to quickly select a template style um, just to see what it'll look like. Press my create, uh, press create my homepage and we get taken to this screen and there's actually going to be a built-in tutorial that Wix first shows you um, see, um, the animations you see right here. I'm not actually moving my cursor. It's an animation that's playing on the website and super useful because you kind of just get a brief 30 second quick look at all the menus, um, which buttons to press, where which features are hidden under which link. Um, it's a really great way to kind of jumpstart a brand new website editing tool, which I know can be quite daunting. And after the little tutorial wizard is done playing, here is the first version of our homepage. All the content you see here is kind of the default template content. So now we begin the fun part, which is customizing the content and filling up all the information with our own information. Um, 
Again, the really great thing about Wix, I think is, especially if you're very new to website building, they really do a great job of guiding you through the entire process. So you don't have to be super tech literate or you know super experienced in this area. Um, we've already gone through, I feel like, so many mini little wizards and tutorials, and there's still one more to go. Um, it just kind of shows you the basic functionalities or the things that you should be paying attention to. It's almost like an FAQ version of what typically people want to do with their website. So changing templates, which is what I'm doing now. Um, also changing colors, changing fonts, things like that. Um, I'm going to just kind of speed through this part because I just ended up picking a new template and um, I actually exited this wizard a little early because I have had experience building websites. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys kind of the more important parts of um, what pages to add, what information for artists, portfolios, um, your shop is important to include for an artist specific page. So I'm just gonna fast forward this part real quick. All right, so now I'm just gonna get started replacing all the filler content with my own images. Um, I clicked on that weird multicolor banner and um, this window popped up where I have the ability to drag and drop images from my computer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload my latest little painting. Um, I think it'd be a great banner or kind of welcome image for my website. So I'm just gonna replace it and bam, already it looks so customized and so unique to me. And now I'm just gonna kind of edit the text a little bit the template button says learn more, but I think I would want it to say shop just because I would love to right off the bat give people an easy way to access my shop if they want to buy prints. And um, buttons are actually able to be connected to pages. So here I'm just going to press connect to and select the shop page. And that way when the user clicks on this button now, they will be directed to my shop page. Okay, next up, I'm just going to quickly edit this artist bio section. Um, for your artist bio, I would recommend just writing a really succinct and informative paragraph about yourself. Don't make it too long winded, but include a few things like where you're from, what your artistic style is, and perhaps um, a little tidbit about your past sh um, show or sales experiences. If you're just starting out and don't have that yet, feel free to limit your information to just talking about your style. That's totally fine. And now I'm going to be replacing this default video here. Um, I'd rather have an image than a video here. So I, again, I'm just gonna press replace and go into the wizard and I'm dragging and dropping another um, artwork of mine. This time it's a recent illustration. So I think it will look good underneath the painting above. Yep, that looks pretty cool. And the girl kind of looks like me. So it fits perfectly for the artist bio section. Um, in the default template here, they have this cute little quote um, on the front page. I don't really find it useful, as cute as it is. I think I'm just going to delete this entire section. And um, you just kind of press the three dots on the side here and press the trash can and it'll help you remove sections you don't want. This contact me section I think is really useful for any artist website to have. Um, you want a way for your fans and your collectors and your potential collectors to be able to reach you. Um, I'm just going to drag and drop it to the bottom of the web page. I think it's more suited to be at the very end instead of kind of in the middle here. And I noticed that on this template, they allow you to preview three little products um, on the front page of your website. And I think that's a really good idea. It's a really great way of letting people know right away that you do have products available for sale and that it's not just a portfolio site. So I'm going to edit the products now, just add a few things. Um, it's a pretty easy. So the, the products wizard is, it's like a separate pop-up, um, but it is definitely still integrated into the website. Um, here I'm just going to press new product. You can pick digital or physical. Obviously mine would be a physical, uh, product, which would be like a print. I'm going to select this recent, um, print of mine. And there are many different customization options on the products page. You can add a description where you talk about what your print is made on, the inks you use, the paper you use. You can um, even add like dimensions or different product types. So if you have two different sizes or perhaps you have like a regular 
version or an embellished version um, of the same print and you want to list them under the same product and just give users the choice to select which one they want, um, you can do that all on this page. It's super intuitive. Um, as you can tell here, I didn't really mess up that many times and I was able to easily find out um, the features that I wanted. So I really did appreciate the UI design. Um, of the products page because products pages have a tendency to be very confusing a lot of columns a lot of empty tables and I think this flow worked really well for me so after I was done editing my product I was trying to explore the other functionalities um, of the product manager page so there I saw that there was a business setup section and here we could have business info there was a way to choose and view what types of payments that you accept from your customers and I think I was mostly curious also about the different shipping options because you're gonna have domestic orders international orders and you really do have to find a great way to accommodate everyone and also calculate the proper shipping price for everyone um, obviously international prints will inc um, incur a higher shipping fee than domestic ones and um, I always like to keep my shipping prices fair so um, here I was really happy to discover that there was definitely a very easy way to customize shipping for um, different countries and different options so you can either have a standard flat rate or you can even choose what the shipping will be depending on the weight of your product so if you ship like let's say um, let's say you don't make prints but you make jewelry or even furniture um, here is just a great way to allow your customers to see how much shipping will be up front and to kind of automate the entire process so after finishing my first product and shipping info I am just taking a look now at the preview of my homepage and I think I'm gonna make two more sample products just to fill up this area because it looks really strange with my one actual print with the full, full artwork um, on the thumbnail and then also two weird <laughs> icons on the side so I'm just gonna quickly go back and make two more products and I think a great way and maybe this is a hack maybe it's not but you can actually just select the product that you currently have and duplicate it so that way for for example if I have a shop full of 20 prints um, I just have to make one main print product duplicate it and kind of just change out the title and the photo for each different product that way I don't have to fill out all the information from scratch every single time Okay, I think now that I've added three different products, this little section of the homepage looks way better. <laughs> um, it actually looks quite pretty. I really like it. And um, I think right now I'm just going to play with kind of the different designs of this product preview. As much as I love the current one, you know, it doesn't hurt to explore to see if perhaps there is a better way to design this section. Okay, so... Moving on to the next section, once I'm done fiddling around with this product section, um, I think I'm going to try adding a new page. So right now I'm kind of just working with the default pages that they give me, which is just home and shop. So I just go up here, press add and press projects. And I'm just going to randomly select one of the options right now, um, just to kind of play around with it. I always give myself the option to update it later so for now I'll just select this template here and using the different or sorry um, using the exact same method that I used before to update all the images I'm just gonna click on the image and it's gonna bring me to um, a wizard where I can select from images that I've uploaded myself so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and replace the images and titles for three sample works Afterwards, I'm going to fiddle around with the different ways that I can present my works. Um, obviously, this can support way more than three images, but for now, with the three that I'm working on, I want them to cover a huge part of my screen just so it doesn't look so empty. So I'm going to go with this template here. I think it's very sleek and modern and definitely gives me the coverage and length that I'm looking for. I'm also using the section on the left here to give this page a little title. Um, the default title is My Work, which I think is a pretty good title already, but I'm just going to be a little bit more specific and call it Paintings and Drawings Portfolio. 
And then as you can see here, I changed my mind. I decided to actually make portfolio um, just the main title. And there's actually a really a nice option to make a sub header, so like a subtitle. And I decided to put paintings and drawings in that section just to keep things a little more organized. I think now I've done enough stuff where I can preview my website from the upper right tab here. I'm just pressing preview. I just want to get a sense of how it looks when I feel like I've almost completely filled out all the information I need to. Um, obviously this is pretty minimum since this is a website created in 15 minutes, but just a quick run through of the pages to get an idea of what the layout would look like and give myself kind of the ability to continue to add content to these pages and be confident that they will look good. Um, here, when I did my preview, I, especially on the mobile preview, as you can see, um, there's just a lot of stuff on the header, like my email, my, well, my fake phone number, and um, I kind of really didn't like that. I wanted to jump into the beautiful header and content of the website before, you know, all this weird kind of informational text. So I decided to go back and actually remove these two elements from the header. It's quite simple. Um, all you have to do is click on the elements themselves, for example, this um, phone number, and then you just uncheck it. So as you can see on my left side, um, you just uncheck all the elements that you don't want to be displayed. You can always add them back later. But now I think it is just way cleaner and way more, I guess, easy on the eyes and easy to digest. Um, so I also decided then to keep cleaning and I deleted the Happy D Artist portfolio and store from the main header of the homepage. I just kept it simple and put my name, Happy D Artist, um, because it's pretty evident from my, uh, my header and also my links up at the top that it's going to be a portfolio and a store. I also realized that the projects page was still named projects. I want to name it to uh, change the name to portfolio so it can match the title of that page. And all you have to do is click on the settings icon and press rename. And let's see. Oh, and I've decided to add a contact me page. So I just go up to the top tab there, press add and select contact me or contact from um, the page type. And again, so many easy options for me to choose from. It does all the hard work for me. Um, I went ahead and picked a very simple template that doesn't have an image or a map. Um, updated the info to what I wanted to say, and then I'm done. And after that last page, I think my website is done. I have the four main pages that I think are crucial to an artist's website. I have the homepage, shop, about me, a portfolio, and a contact page. So now I'm just going to exit out of my preview and press publish on the up right hand side. And um, on the publish page, you have an option to determine your d domain name. If you already have a custom domain, you can link it up. But um, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to type in um, kind of a less beautiful, but it's a free URL that I can now use and it's live and I can link this from my Instagram, from my YouTube. And it's a great way if you're just getting started and if you don't have a lot of money or budget for a custom domain, um, it's a quick and easy way for those of you out there to get started and make your first website. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. Thank you so much again to Wix for um, allowing me to share this with everyone and for making such a great product. So I wish you guys the best of luck in creating your websites. See, wasn't that a lot easier than you might have thought? It's really not daunting at all. Um, once again, Wix.com is completely free for you to sign up. So feel free to give it a try. There's no pressure. And I look forward to seeing all of your beautiful, sleek websites. And I wish you guys the best of luck. Happy website building. And I hope to catch you in the next video. Bye.